the good Dr. John Lott recently released some research regarding the statement by gun control proponents that murder is a nationwide epidemic in this country. And what he found is basically that the bulk of the murders in this country are occurring in small pockets of geographic areas of these vast United States. To wit, the worst 5% of counties account for 73% of murders. In other words, almost three-fourths of the murders in this country occurred in 5% of this country's counties. Care to venture a guess as to which counties are the top five? Cook County in Illinois, Los Angeles in California, Harris in Texas, Harris is where Houston is, Philadelphia in Pennsylvania, and New York, including Bronx, Kings, New York, Queens, and Richmond. Obviously, it's no surprise to me that these are the counties where the bulk of the murders in this country are occurring. The gun control proponents will repackage gang violence and call it gun violence. And in these communities, they've already passed stringent gun control laws, yet they still suffer from high murder rates, the highest. Why? Because gun control doesn't work. Why? Because criminals don't abide by gun control laws, because criminals don't abide by any laws. I've said it before, I've said it before a lot, I'll keep saying it. So if you're out there and you're thinking to yourself, gee, maybe we would be a little safer if we just had more gun control, or if we just had common sense gun control, that's what they keep telling us, and every time there's some kind of a shooting i think gosh we got to do something we need to do something to stop this well the answer isn't gun control because criminals will not abide that's what makes them criminals they will not obey any laws a guy that's hell-bent on killing people isn't going to think to himself gee i don't want to use a gun because that might break the law it's not going to happen so don't you believe the lie Gun control doesn't make us safer. And if you want a perfect example, think to yourself about the people that are pushing this. Many of them, most of them, have security guards that keep them safe. Those security guards have on their persons guns. If you were to ask one of these people, hey, why don't you have your security give up their guns and take a few off the streets? They'd say, no. So obviously it's okay for them to have somebody protect them with a gun. Why would it not be okay for you to protect yourself with a gun? And a quick message to the good doctor. If by chance you happen to see this video, your work is indispensable to everybody fighting for gun owners' rights. It's an absolutely invaluable tool of truth to fight against the lies of gun control and the lies of taking the Second Amendment away, the lies that seek to take the Second Amendment away. So thank you very much, Dr. John Lott, and uh, keep up the good work. And to everybody, until next time, stay uninfringed. He's getting out of control.